Mortgage lenders need to go back to basics. They need to focus not only on the value of the property, but also on the creditworthiness of the borrower. Banks and other lending institutions need to better manage risks and the standards that they apply when they approve mortgages. Our study found that countries with more government involvement in housing finance experience deeper house price declines than countries with less government involvement. This is probably a reflection of the lower cost of credit due to government subsidies and also relaxed lending standards as the private sector was trying to compete with the government. These credit conditions in turn helped spur the house price boom that we saw and that later ended in a bust. Government involvement in housing markets needs to be carefully considered to avoid contributing to financial instability. Prior to the crisis, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's products were assumed to be implicitly guaranteed by the US government. In the foreseeable future, there is probably still a need for government guarantees for mortgage securitization in the United States. In the, these guarantees, though, need to be explicit and fully accounted for on the government's balance sheet. In the medium term, and with reforms to promote safe securitization of residential mortgages by private entities, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac should be closed down. Such reforms would have a significant positive impact on the US financial system. It would also bolster global financial stability.